communicating not only with the public but communicating through policy. If you look, for example, just a month back at the G20 summit, you had every world leader. Listen, I covered it. I'm fed up of hearing about this well, G20 sorry. summit and how brilliant it was for Gordon Brown. I covered that summit. Yes, he played a significant part. There were also the Chinese there. There was Barack Obama there. It was not a Gordon Brown triumph. And if you look at the comments of the other leaders, yes, he was commended, but he didn't run the show. And in fact, going into it, both he and Barack Obama wanted a second stimulus. There wasn't a second stimulus. So where was this great triumph? Well, excuse me, I didn't use the word great triumph, and if you'll allow me to answer your question, I mean, I understand why you just said that you're fed up with it, but I'd like to have a go at answering your questions, Adam. What we saw when President Obama came were the world leaders coming together to actually address the problems of a global recession. In other words, this was a leader working with other leaders in the interest yeah, of... Yeah, that's what leaders do. Well, with huge respect, I'm still trying to answer the question. Uh, it may be what leaders do, and that's actually what Gordon Brown is doing. I've been in my constituency today in St. Helens. The people in my constituency actually feel very strongly about having a leader of the party and a prime minister who cares about their problems. They don't want to see the squabbling that's taking place at the moment. If I spoke this evening to the leader of the Labour group in my constituency, she's been in the party for 50 years. In truth, she and I, when I joined the Labour Party 10 years ago, were not in a good place together. She said to me tonight, how disgusted she was with the decisions of some people in the Labour Party to put themselves before the yeah. people they were serving. But see, the problem, the problem, as you well know, is that any party, any governing party, does not govern for itself. It has to bring in the rest of the country in support of it, because it's by bringing in those people, that's how you win elections. And the point is, however happy things are within the Labour Party, and I'd actually put it to you that the developments of the last few days show that they're not very happy, the big question is, is why everybody else should carry on signing up to supporting the Labour Party. Well, again, with, with huge respect, you and I 